The holidays are roaring on up here, and the market is not stopping. Am I surprised? No, nor should you be. Hi, 34% of you. I know we've been doing this a lot lately, but trust me, it's actually helped out the channel a lot. We cleared 110,000, so make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button. See you guys more awesome content. This Saturday at 7 p.m. EST, we're going to be doing a Christmas Eve tournament of madness. And it is going to be real crazy. Now, registration should be nearing completion or be not or be complete by this point. But if you want to tune in, get the chance to win some of the prizes and stuff that we'll be doing and some future product announcements. I do highly recommend that you join our Discord. I'll leave a link down below. That way you guys can pay attention. If there's still room in the tournament by the time that this goes up, you might be able to squeak on in there and get the chance to play if you want. All right, so I want to also give a shout out here to Big Three. Um, if you use discount code mcool 40 and say yeah i know robbie you're out here just talking about websites to buy product from look i, I try to get you guys some good deals it helps out the channel as well when you use these same thing if you use my tcg player link you use any of the links or to you know the discount codes that are down below you know same thing if you guys want to pick up some maze of memories if you want to pick up some of the trap trick structure decks for 32.95 use my code they get cheaper yeah, they have lots of interesting product available here so i just wanted to include this as a little shout out here that you know one of the great opportunities available out here if you want to pick up any of this do so today all right well, that's enough for the uh the little plug-in stuff Let's talk about Deneb. Now, earlier in the week when Deneb first got announced, um, well, when the new Constellar's Teller support, God, I'm not going to get used to being like, well, they're the, I mean, yeah, they are the same archetype, blah, 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 but we can join to the lines now for this. Right now, I, I still can't believe Deneb's are actually this much. Like, I, I knew they were going to ramp up, but people are really paying $20 for these things. Man, like... We've actually, they're $60 a piece now. We, we've we watched it. Deneb has actually become a money card. For years, these were, what, seven, eight dollars? But yeah, that ramp up is crazy. $13. If you, uh, if you invested early, tends to be the trend on this channel, by the way. We, we talk about a lot of things. It's like, you know, someday you know this archetype's going to get support. You know, invest in it while it's cheap. Get rewarded for it. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! in a nutshell. But are these are these worth it? I, I do think that... I don't know. I think this will see an OTS ulti or it will see a reprint later on. I mean, when we get that support, it's what our... Uh, April slash May set, depending on when they drop it. So very highly likely that you will see a reprint of this, maybe in the May set. Um, if not, I mean, I, I think this would make a good candidate for an OTS reprint. So the super of this would look very nice, but it could end up being a common. Uh, what else we got here? Ah, I want to talk about this. This is very interesting. So we're, we're cruising 31 listings for this bad boy here. And it's been a little while since um, this card's kind of been talked about. I mean, it's a random ass OTK machine, thirteen to fourteen dollars right now for these. The only real reason why I wanted to mention this is I don't know when this is going to be up on the reprint block, but right now two level fours is essentially an OTK. And now that you know we're kind of looking around at more of these random rank four decks kind of coming back into the market here or into the metagame. This is one of those things that you kind of want to keep an eye on and go, hmm, you know, maybe there is some sort of user vi or some sort of like want for this. But once you can keep an eye on it, you can tell that your curve has definitely been going up. It's not like this card is cooling down anytime soon. And like I said, if you really want, you have Italian copies here and even French for you to pick up as well. So no real strangers to love. Oh, Hope Harbinger. You know, Seeger, or the, the Gold Rares, still like nine bucks for this, which is fine. Super Rares, nice reprint for four dollars. And the uh, Ultra Rare from Haunted Mine, four to five bucks, and basically five dollars a copy. I love the fact that the Seeker Rare version is still the most, but uh, you see something here, right? That nice little, a little bit of an uptick going on here. Um, that is kind of interesting. Now, I just wanted to mention this. I mean, 23 listings for the, the gold is fine. 40 and 57. It's not like quantities are getting really low on this. But 
you know how people are looking at their toolbox options right now. Still two level eight smack together gets you an effective suck up. Um, it's still one of the best rank eights out there too. Not surprised to see this at all. Um, Dugaris, oh boy. 28 listings, by the way, versus 60. Now here's here's the big thing with Dugaris right now. Still, once again, two level fours get you a, a, a draw two discard one, slash monster reborn, slash what, like double a monster's attack. Um, effectively, it's not bad, uh, but you can definitely tell that your uptick has been going here for a little while. Is this one of those cards that you probably should pick up? Yeah, for sure. Dugaras has always kind of been one of those cards that you look at in terms of design, and you're just like, you know, what are you, what are you doing? Like, what what is your purpose? Like, why are we doing this? And it does continue to look that way. I am uh, not genuinely surprised about this whatsoever. I think it's going to continue to get worse. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see this version of the card hit like six to seven bucks to match up with this version. Now, really, Har Harpy's Featherstorms? Come on now. Like, I know that, like, yeah, this is, like, the Flundery's best card that they have going for it. But we're paying $12 out here? I mean, you've got a couple of light plays up here for nines, but, like, paying $12 for this? All right. Who? who we're, we're really paying? Commons are $7 to $8. If you opened up this Legendary Duelist, which is actually really funny, by the way, because I swear I keep hearing the community go, these Legendary Duelist sets are shit. Maybe I'm wrong, or maybe I'm just in some, like, crazy panic, but, like, I swear, um, somebody a long time ago said not to open up certain sets, but you look at those results years later, and my god, it's almost like they're worth it. Huh, I don't know, couldn't be me, couldn't be me, I don't know, just something I've noticed, but, man, these... I'm just impressed that a, a viable common is worth this much money. Like, good stuff. Nine bucks, 12 bucks. But once again, that's what the cost of having a staple. Um, but if you're paying $7 for these, you may as well spend the extra $2, the extra, what, $6 to get hollows at that point? Oh, come on. R really? What is going on here? I mean, I see mod plays, light play for $3. Why are there only two pages of this? Why is this $19 for an airman? What is going on here? The only application that this card has ever served in its purpose was being a discard fodder for Fortress. And then Machina Cannon came out and we got rid of this thing. Only reason in my life where I even give two craps about playing this card. But lo and behold, you know what? It, uh, it's doing some things. So I... Uh, I, yeah, I'm I'm actually speechless with this one. I'm, I'm yep, you win. Monkey board, yeah, this one's uh, pretty straightforward. You only have 17 listings left of these super rares, by the way, and it looks like they are they are going up pretty quickly here. 12 bucks, 12 bucks, eight dollars. Yeah, you're looking at eights. Um, honestly, this you do play this in the Draco Slayer deck. Um, this getting the option to get some of the searchability going for the deck is actually really, really good. I do not underestimate how good Monkey Board actually running around is in the format because this card will really do some strange combo things to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I wanted to mention this one. DRO4 Mariners. This is a this has always been like my friend's like funny card to always talk about. Love all the 420s here. But it's only because it's a water monster for you to be able to bring out. Um, technically it's a level five for you to do in the water deck, but uh nice meme. <laughs> I'm just glad interesting to see a DRO4 decent common restocked back on the market. I also want to talk about Libra Mancer cards here because they did just get their new good card. Um, Geek Boys from Sneak Peek. I mean, these are seven bucks. Fires, two bucks. Regular Geek Boys. <laughs> Look at these. Battle of Chaos Seeker, 50 cents. Penny Stonk? I think this card might actually end up being a potential Penny Stonk at this point. Like, that's, that's not bad. Um, hmm. Things you'll love to see for 500 just takes one good card to break this mold but all right but what do you guys think about today's market please leave a comment down below tell me what you guys think and i'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day guys peace out patrons thank you
Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.